Hello friends. With this session we are going to see, what is Activity Explorer, and how it work. So, let's start. Before we are installing Activity Explorer, you need Java that must be installed in your system. You can use JDK 1.5 or newer version. If it is not installed in your system, then first installed it, then set its class path as Java Home, in your global environment. After that, download Apache Tomcat. You can download it from www.tomcatapache.org. Now after that you have to download our activity let us release 5.11. You can download it from www.activity.org sites. Ok, so now we will see how to install Activity Explorer. I am sure that you also downloaded files which I have told you early. You can see I have created one directory as activity training in my desktop. You can also create in your system with your choice. I am going to open my directory. I have created one source folder in my activity training directory to copy my all zip file. You can see I have copied my activity 11.0 file and my Apache Tomcat zip file in this directory. I have created another folder as activity to extract my activities zip file and also for my Tomcat server. In Tomcat, there has been directory. In this, you can start your Tomcat server to click start up bad file. Here I have already start my Tomcat, so not going to start again. So, let me op open it. You can see this is my Tomcat console, my Tomcat it is already started on, 8080 port in my local host. So, I am going to check in my web browser, that is it working properly or not. So I am opening my Firefox. Let me write, localhost 8080, to check whether, my Tomcat is running or not. Ok, so you can see, my home page of Tomcat, is open now. So that's mean it is now, working properly. So now I am going to click close it. Now I am shut downing my Tomcat with click shut down bad file in my Tomcat bin directory. Now let's see what is in my activity package. In my activity, there is one LUN library directory. In this directory, there are all library which is supported with activity and activity integration. In doc directory, there are some documents related to activity, it's also contained Java docs, and user guide, related to activity. In war directory, there are two war file, one is activity explorer, and another is, activity rest. So first, we have to copy this activity explorer war file. Then, we have to paste this file in my tomcat, Webox folder. So you can see, I have pasted it. Now, start your Tomcat again. Now my Tomcat will automatically deploy Activity Explorer. My Tomcat is now start. Now I am going to open my Activity Explorer in my web browser. Let me write localhost 8080 slash activity dash explorer. Now, Moo Activity Explorer is open, so, cool. Now let's have fun with Activity Explorer. Here you have to log in with default user as Kermit. The Kermit is admin user for activity. Here the username is Kermit and also password is Kermit. So I am going to log in. So you can see, this is the Activity Explorer where all process execution will done. So let me discuss about it. This is the process tab. You can see here all deployed processes. Now on my process instance. 
it will show you the current process instant, which is running on, right now there is nothing running, so it is not displaying any things. Now on deployed process definition. Where you can see all deployed processes, here there are several processes which is come with Activity Explorer by default. This processes are for demo purpose. Now on Manage tab. There are several things for administration. First is database. Where all processes intents will, will be stored, and also all user information, all current execution details and lots more. We will see deep look for each in our upcoming session. Now on deployment, you can deploy your new created process. On show all, it will show all deployed process bar file. Here is demo, which is come default with various processes. In upload new, you, you can upload new created processes from your system. Now on active pro process, it will show all active processes. Right now, you can see, there are several processes, which is already activated. Also suspended process, which will show suspended processes which is done by either user or system. After that there is also users or tab, which will show you the current users. There are various users which is defaultly created, you can see, there is Fozzy is there. Then also Gonzo, and, and also our Kermit. You can also create new user by clicking create user by button. You can also see there are different ad groups available, such as admin, here you can see our Kermit is admin, here there are various other groups are available, like engineering group, management, marketing, sales and also user group. You can also create your own group. Now user group. Our Kermit is belongs to this group also. Okay so, now, let's go, go to the administration tab. In previous activity version, this option was not here. And we have to use activity prob for this, but now, it is included within this explorer. Basically, this is used for admin purpose to analyze completed processes instances. You can see, also all running business process instances. Also you can see the process instance which is already completed. And also for database, here you can see, H2 database is used as in memory database, for storing all information about business processes. Now the last one is task. In task, you can see, there is inbox option, where all user current task will be shown. Then, then my task, it will also show the task which is created by Activity Explorer. Then conclude, where all pending tasks will be show, with its group category. You can see all group categories are available. Then involved, it will show, which, which other people are involved in the process related to this task. Then arc archived, where all completed tasks will be shown. This is all about Activity Explorer, there are some also remaining things. We will do lots of fun with it, in our upcoming session. You can log out from Activity Explorer with. Now you log out. Thank you.